Thanks, Aaron. Well, with these frigid temperatures, can you imagine being without power right now? That's what a North Idaho couple is facing at their rental home. Their power has been off more than 24 hours, and they say the electric company won't turn it back on until the previous tenant pays their bill. KXY 4's Colleen O'Brien found today that just one call from us and Kootenai Electric seemed to change their tune. Colleen? That's right, Nadine. The Hayden couple moved in on the 14th, and yesterday, the day they were calling to set up their account with Kootenai Electric, their power was shut off. With two little kids to keep warm and feed, they called Kootenai Electric multiple times to straighten out their power, but said they were only insulted in the process. I believe her almost exact words were, what are you, a bunch of children living in the house? Starting yesterday morning, when the house turned dark and cold, Brittany Thompson and her husband Tristan tried again and again calling Kootenai Electric. They told us that uh, until the bill was paid, that it, it's not going to get turned on. Problem was, the bill wasn't theirs. It was the previous tenant's outstanding bill, and Brittany says her family was now paying the price. Not being able to turn on the lights or make food for the children or, you know, have warm water to give them baths or ourselves. More than 24 hours without power until we called Kootenai Electric for an explanation and got a call back in less than 90 minutes. I have um, Chris Costella, our manager of member services here, and I think you, you said Brittany was there, so we'd be happy to talk to her a little bit. They were happy to tell Brittany that they had options for her. One, proving a good credit history with another utility. If we get the 12 month uh, letter from a Vista, then do we get our power turned on today? Sure. No mention of the outstanding bill. We look to do whatever we can to help our members out. I know that wasn't necessarily what um, experience you had yesterday, and I do apologize for that. And the $75 reconnect fee they were told they'd have to pay? Given that this has been kind of a, a mess for you, I am more than happy to waive that and we will absorb that cost. Brittany is pleased with the outcome, but feels it's too bad it had to come to this to get what she should have had in the first place. And I just spoke with Brittany's father, who says as of about an hour ago, their power is back on, so no more cold nights for this family. Reporting live in the studio, Colleen O'Brien, KXLY4 HD News. That is good news. Thanks a lot, Colleen.